hello guys welcome to my channel here in this video training I want to show everyone on how to produce the cross-section profile of roads to those who are just joining us for the first time if you are just new on this channel do it to check under the video description to see the previous training videos we have on longitudinal profile and other AutoCAD training videos that will be so much helpful in your professional practice thank you so here are my data in excel sheets okay so as you can see here i have this tonnage column the offset column the rl which is the reduced level column and the description respectively so in your practice of route survey you are expected to take the center lines as well as the offset right hand side and the left hand side of the routes respectively so here is the chain is zero in the course of this training video and you can see the offset negative three so this is actually in meters okay this is actually in meters so that you can know what your unit dimension is going to be when you plot your cross sections uh, profile all right so this is negative three meters standing for the left hand side shoulder of the road why this zero is the center point and the positive three meters is actually the right hand side of the road and the reduced level which is the elevations respectively all right same thing for tnh 25 and so on and so forth so this survey was conducted on 25 meters intervals so your data is expected to be tabulated this way when you want to plot your cross sections for your route survey all right so when you are done tabulating your data this way however i'll be dropping this data under the description in case you want to practice hands-on by yourself thank you so if you have your data tabulated this way the next thing is to launch into your autocad work environment you know start a new work environment by clicking on the start drawing all right so when you open that you will open your dsw dtm plugin as well okay so you incorporate it with your autocad so this is going to aid our cross-section production all right so when you are done with that you go back to your excel work environment all right then you highlight from change zero okay down to the last change so if you have descriptions or remarks you have to add that all right however in the course of this training video i do not have remarks on my uh, on my data so i will start from change zero down to the very last change i have on my data so here it is at change 575 so when you highlight your data you come back to your autocad work environment then you click on x section then you scroll down to draw l profile stroke x section then you click on draw x section you click on that so when you click on that your read file is expected to be from excel file all right so it is recommendable to go with include all changes all right so when you're done with that you can leave all this on default except you want to play with it so i will briefly explain the horizontal scale and the vertical scale in later time so when you are done with this you click on execute therefore you are going to see draw sheet and draw all so you click on draw all so when you click on that you come to your work environment on autocad then you will see the icon displayed a plus sign then you click on the work environment and empty space okay so that your cross section can be plotted so guys so those are the cross sections okay as you can see those are the scroll section so let's see the first one we have on on our work environment so you can see here this is change 000 all right so what we have here is actually you can see the center point all right which is the center line then the three meters offset which is the shoulder left hand shoulder and the right hand shoulder of the road so you can see this green stands for the uh, the undulation of the cross section. Then this uh, is the center line of the uh, the route. All right. So let's quickly check the dimension to see if this is actually drawn to scale of what we are interested in. So you come here on this icon, click on that, click on linear. Then uh, let's quickly check from the center line. All right. So you can see this is actually thirty. 
all right due to the scale we used earlier on so that is actually 100 to 100 all right horizontal scale is 100 so it is actually showing 30 so we want to increase the scale all right to make it 3 meters and not 30 meters all right so what you are going to do okay is to come to the scale icon here so you can see that this is 30 but what we have or what we want is 3 meters so we are going to increase that by 10 all right so you are going to multiply 100 by 10 so this is now going to be 1000 all right the horizontal scale is what we are actually uh, increasing 1000 okay so if you increase that you can actually leave the vertical scale since the vertical scale is what we have here and it is suitable for us uh, we don't have issues with that right so we are going to just edit the horizontal scale only so when you are done editing okay all, all other settings are actually intact okay you don't need to do any other thing on, on them all right so the next thing is to click on draw all again all right so when you do that then you can come to another work environment and empty space okay and you click on that part so this is actually the next uh skill drawing all right for the cross section so let's quickly measure from the center to the left hand side shoulder all right just like what we did earlier so as you can see this is three meters all right from the center line to the shoulder the left hand shoulder all right center line to the right hand shoulder so let's confirm for the right hand the dimension of that all right you can see so same thing so depending on the scale you want all right you can actually go for it so this is how to produce your cross section for your road okay so let's check the last uh the last cross section we have if our data is plotted completely so change 575 so just like what we have on the excel sheet okay the last change is 575 so that is just how to produce cross sections of your road please if you find this tutorial helpful do well to hit on the subscribe icon if you are yet to do so to keep getting tutorial freely from this channel thank you i hope to see you again so if you are in need of this particular plugin check under the video description to download freely thank you see you again